Hey friends, today we are hanging out at SeaWorld Orlando and we are going to be riding the brand new roller coaster Pipeline. I am so excited. This is the first of its kind surfing roller coaster where we're going to be standing like upright and it goes as fast as 60 miles per hour and it goes as high as 110 feet and it's going to be pretty thrilling. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful SeaWorld kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And there it is, the one of a kind surf coaster. Look at that. I cannot wait to ride this. We're gonna be standing upright like we're surfing actually. Here it comes. This is gonna be amazing. I am very excited to see how these restraints actually work because we're standing upright. It's a stand up roller coaster. Here is the test seat that they have in front of the attraction itself and they actually asked for larger guests to please test the seat to determine your ability to ride and it's not stationary it actually moves so you go up and down and you you get airtime you get airtime and it comes down and it locks into place and from what i heard it's got to be flush against this part right here and there's a little indicator that lights up green to let you know whether or not you'll be able to fit and i'm going to test it out and see how it goes you kind of have to jump up in it like you kind of have to like jump up because this is going to come down a little bit and it's got a nice little launch too wait till you see it you're standing upright that is so cool all right we're gonna hop on board now and we're gonna have our gopro so we're gonna be able to film it so i'm gonna switch over to the gopro now the audio might change a little bit because it's a different like audio on this uh, but also SeaWorld is gonna provide us with POV footage so we're gonna be able to show you the ride uh, two different ways you're gonna see us and our reactions to it and then also outwards and how thrilling and fun it could be all right we are ready to head on in and I also wanted to point out that guests mun must not exceed 78 inches so they actually have two different height requirements here so taller guests you have to make sure you're under 78 inches and uh yeah look there it goes you actually go upside down on this i'm a little nervous i'm a little nervous like i mentioned before this roller coaster i think has a top speed of 60 miles per hour and then it goes uh up to 110 feet so it's it's a pretty thrilling coaster it doesn't look like it from the outside i'm most excited for the launch itself though I'm bearing gifts. you've come bearing gifts thank you is this you sir that is me i think this this bag belongs to me okay. <laughs> It looks like there's a little sensor on the side. You might be able to see it's lighting up blue and that is going to determine like how you walk into place to give you the air time because I'm sure, you know, people of different heights, you know, what I mean, have different air time, especially if their feet are going to come off the ground or come off the board. You know what I mean? Oh, look, there's a little uh, stingray or manta ray there, too. I'm very excited to go surfing. I've never been surfing before. Thank you. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little nervous. Uh-oh. Are we the only ones on this coaster? I think we are. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. Launch that from that side.
<laughs> I was insane. Uh, Oh, it is very smooth. The airtime is fun. The airtime air is, is fun. When your feet lift off the ground, that part is really. Re I wish there was more of that. I screamed a little bit. I screamed <laughs> a little bit. A lot of it. I screamed. I was, ah, ah. <laughs> Woo. That's it. That's it. Well, that was interesting. In fact, I would have to say I loved it. I thought it was a great roller coaster. It was fun, and I screamed a little bit. Not too sure how the footage came out, um, but uh, it caught me off guard when I caught some of the airtime there. You really, your feet come up and the initial launch was so much fun. I felt breezy, it was nice, the water setting. I really enjoy that roller coaster. It's a great lineup to SeaWorld Orlando. They're becoming the roller coaster capital of Orlando. Like they have the best roller coasters here and I would definitely ride it again. Like I, I'm kind of excited. I thought it was really fun and uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out more and maybe go ride some other rides. I actually do wanna ride Infinity Falls. That one is so fun and I have my GoPro with me. I'm gonna get soaking wet, so might as well do it. It's a hot day out and I wouldn't mind uh, getting splashed with some water. Here is a look at Pipeline from over at uh, Bayside Stadium. It's a little windy out here, but uh, it's a beautiful day. And honestly, I think that's now two roller coasters in one year they put up because they have Icebreaker and Pipeline. You wanna get some pretzels? Oh, you know I want some pretzels. We're gonna get some pretzels. <laughs> the best pretzels in theme park history. Before we make our way to Infinity Falls, we want to stop over to the pretzel kitchen. Is it called Mama's? I was like, is it just the pretzel kitchen? And she's like, I think it's Mama's. And I'm like, oh, Mama's pretzel kitchen. They really do have the best pretzels. And uh, I'm gonna get a pretzel, and then we're gonna ride Infinity Falls. Mama's pretzels right here, made fresh daily. And they got craft beer too. We love a good pretzel. Look at all those delicious pretzels awaiting us. Oh, I'm gonna get some cinnamon sugar nuggets, some pretzel nuggets, maybe a pepperoni pizza pretzel, a little bit of everything, maybe a pretzel dog. I kinda like them all. They actually allowed me to do a half and half. So I got half cinnamon sugar, half regular pretzels, and these are so good, they're not like like uh, like a franchise pretzel. They bake these in-house fresh every day. So you're only gonna get this distinct taste of pretzel here at SeaWorld Orlando. And I'm so excited. Wait till I show you. Look at the cinnamon sugar on here. That one right there is the cinnamon sugar. And then this one's the salted one. And they're pretty big nuggets. Look at those. Pretty big. You can also, they have cream cheese icing and stuff like that. I literally just eat them the way that they are. I mean, you can get it with the icing, but I literally just love them. Plain Jane. First, we're going the cinnamon sugar. Look at the little crystals on there. And you can see the cinnamon just kind of melting right into the pretzel. Kristen ended up getting the uh, cream oh, cheese icing. It's so good. I see it over there. Can I have a little bit? Try it. I think you tried it last time and you liked it. Did I? I mean, I'm gonna. I, I like them just the way that they are, but they're they're good with or without it. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Hmm. The operation of all outdoor rides has been suspended. Oh no! Operations may be delayed, modified, or canceled. Normal operations will resume once the storm has passed. We might not be able to do Infinity Falls. I knew we shouldn't have came and got the pretzels. Actually, I'm happy we came and got the pretzels. Here's to the lightning in the area. Got some thunder in the area, but the pretzels are good. All right, enough of the pretzel business. Let's make our way over to Infinity Falls and see if it's open. I mean, it is inclement weather right now. There is uh, lightning in the area, so they say outdoor rides. But it says. But it says open. It says it's a 25 minute wait on the app. It's an outdoor oh. ride though. Let's see. It's a water ride. <laughs> well, at least if Infinity Falls isn't open, at least the waterway bar is actually open so we can hang out there, which I wouldn't mind, you know? Oh, wait, 
pardon our bubbles waterway is closed for future enhancements maybe not i'm pretty positive this is the tallest like drop for one of these types of rides and if it opens back up i'm going for it i, I think actually they opened up another one in a different park that might have beat it so it's either the best the, the highest or the second highest either way i do love this ride and you know we're here for it we'll see well i just received a severe thunderstorm warning so there's a good chance i don't think they're going to open it back up i think we're going to have to admit defeat and just walk out of here at least we're full from pretzels well since we're not going to be able to do infinity falls i figured maybe we'd go out for dinner meet up with some friends have a nice little din din and i'll carry the vlog over probably to a disney resort and one of the restaurants i've been wanting to go to for quite some time before we head out for dinner i had to run home change real quick and spend some time with gracie girl what a precious little girl i didn't even tell you to sit I didn't tell you to sit, but do you want a treat? You wanna go for a walk? Do you want a treat? What do you wanna do? Look at you, just sitting at the top of the stairs there. You're so amazing. I swear, Gracie loves sitting on these stairs. She just loves them. I think she loves the carpet, that's the thing. I mean, I have a big carpet in my living room, but she loves the carpet on these stairs more than the carpet in the living room. But yeah, I got all changed out and now, uh, Time to go get something to eat. And we have made it to the Grand Destino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. And we're going to be eating at the very top there at Toledo. I'm so excited. I haven't eaten here since it first opened. I love this resort. I've stayed in the tower and in the regular rooms and they're both amazing but I love the lobby at the Grand Destino Tower and I'm hoping tonight while we're dining at Toledo maybe we'll get to see the fireworks. I mean we're timing it right and you can kind of see it you can kind of see happily ever after if you're in a certain area but you can also kind of see Epcot. Uh, it all depends maybe if we get by a window or not but we're gonna just try. Just take a look at this lobby. Isn't it so beautiful the way the light shines in? You've got Walt Disney over there, Mickey Mouse, and uh, we're actually gonna go down here next to the Barcelona lounge here and uh, find the elevator so we can make our way up to Toledo. I feel fancy just walking down the stairs. <laughs> They have a very fancy elevator system here where you pre-pick the floor before you get in the elevator. So we're going all the way up, all the way up to Toledo. The 16th floor, so then we just hit 16. Oh, it even says Toledo on it, look at that. Fancy. And then it tells you to go to C. Over here. This is the way. I think we're going up. That's us. We are all checked in and we're gonna wait for our table. It's not quite ready yet, but it's really cool because we get to come outside here to the Dolly Lounge and they have a beautiful like observation deck like out here that we get to go out and you get to see all of Walt Disney World. I'll show you guys once we get through these doors here, if I can. Oh yeah, this way. I love the California Grill like view, but this one is way better because you get to see so much more of the whole entire resort. <laughs> see everything from Everest to Galaxy's Edge to the Tower of Terror, and uh, yeah, I'm here for it. In the far corner there, you can see Expedition Everest. You can actually see the backside of Everest, which I think is so cool. You can also see one of those 5G towers that is disguised as a tree. And then here is all of the Coronado Springs Resort. And they definitely need to clean their roofs there. And then you can see uh, Blizzard Beach right there. Right here is Batu or Galaxy's Edge. The Tower of Terror, the Swan and Dolphin, everything. Oh, and then also a bunch of friends too. Look at that. Our table's ready. Our table's ready? Oh, okay. Let's go. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it is time. It's probably going to be very loud inside the restaurant itself, so I'm going to try to film as much possible. But here it is. It's the restaurant. To the right-hand side, you can see Hollywood Studios and a little bit of Epcot. And then to the left is where you'll see Happily Ever After. And we're sitting over here. We've got a nice little table. And wait till I show you guys 
like our view here. It's actually really, really nice. Look at this. I know you can't see it, but I can see Space Mountain, and I can see the Contemporary, and we're gonna see the fireworks too. And look at that. Wow, it's such a beautiful night. Here is a look at the menu, and the thing that I'm eyeing up is the bone-in ribeye for two, and it's $110, and it comes with tomato, onions, and the choice of two sides, but you can get the chef's signature dinner for two, which comes with a charcuterie board, appetizer, and then desserts, but that's $155. I think I'd rather just pick my own app or my own like tapa and then get the ribeye on its own, because that's what you can do and then just split it with a friend. I think that's what we're gonna do. Honestly, I love our seat. I don't know if we're gonna be here for Happily Ever After. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. Oh, it's eight o'clock. We're definitely gonna catch it it's at nine o'clock. We'll see just a little bit of it, but I wouldn't mind actually meandering over to uh, the uh, Dolly Lounge maybe afterwards and checking out the view for that. I mean, it's sad that both fireworks go off at the same time, and when you're in this restaurant, you have to pick and choose because it's, um, it's on different sides of the building. For our appetizer, I decided, well, for my appetizer, I decided on getting the chorizo, and it's nicely sliced up. Look at that. They don't give you a lot, though. There's, there's not a lot of chorizo in there, and they give you a little bit of bread there. We gotta ration the bread. Yeah. We each get a little crumb. Everyone gets a little crumb. And I think this was $15. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's really good though. Here we go, trying the chorizo, made a little sandwich. Well, like an open face sandwich. And I'm excited, I hope it's not too spicy. This honestly is not that spicy. I thought it was going to be super spicy. It's very flavorful. The only thing I don't like is you don't get a lot. You really don't get a lot of it, but it's definitely quality over quantity. I would get it again or get it for people to try. Kristen ended up getting the tomato bread and it just looks like toast with tomato on it. It's like Spanish bruschetta. It's so garlicky and delicious. I'm gonna try some. I'm excited. It looks really good. It looks like a like a grandma's pizza. Like a grandma style. No cheese though. Yeah, that's what grandma style is. Grandma style is like a thin Sicilian. Oh, I always thought grandma was like just marinara sauce on bread. Well, you can eat cheese the whole time. You can eat grandma's. I have been deceived. <laughs> now we've decided on getting ourselves a bottle of wine. Nice red bottle of wine. Nice little, a bottle of red. So enjoy the week. <laughs> Here we go. Trying the tomato bread. Is that what you, it's tomato bread. Tomate. Oh, wow. I was wondering if they were going to pump the music for the fireworks show, but I feel like it would be hard to do because you're going to have both fireworks going off simultaneously. So like it'd be like a match up and it's getting dark outside. Look at that. This is where the fireworks will be probably right about here. Hopefully that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for. The food has arrived and look at this bountiful meal right here. Oh my lord, that is a huge steak. I'm glad we're splitting. I am too. I'm so glad that we're sharing this. We ended up getting the scallop add on. So we got scallops and then we also got shrimp and then we've got Brussels sprouts and the, I don't know how they say it. It's like mashed potatoes, but it's, pu yeah, potato puree. But this is a huge meal. So all together, this probably cost $130. I would say $130, maybe $140. At least. At least. And then the bottle of wine. So like we're like a $200 meal right here. And we're splitting it. Yeah. We're splitting it. $100 each. Yeah. Just definitely enjoying. But that is a big steak. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my lord. I am excited to see where this ranks. Nikki T ended up getting the chicken. Look at that. It looks so good. Fancy. With, with grapes. With grapes? Is that really grapes? Yes. Actually, I pressed them with my toes and I got this as well. Oh, Lucy. Oh. <laughs> and then 
Jess ended up getting uh, vegetarian, so this is the cauliflower. It's already half gone, I'm so sorry. It looks good though. It looks really good. And then Kristen, Kristen, you got the steak. I got the ribeye for two. I really wanted it. Nick wouldn't share it with me. So I was like, you know what? I'll get the big steak and I'll take the rest Lunch of the tomorrow. Lunch tomorrow. Live your life. Yeah, living my best life. Live your life. Look at the char on here. Look at this. Oh my lord. Okay. No. This shouldn't cut like this. Holy moly. Oh my lordy. Now that's a ribeye. That is a ribeye. Here we go. My first bite of the ribeye. This steak has such a great char on it. I love it. Definitely one of the better ribeyes I've had just because of the sheer like size of it and the meat is only going to get better as we get closer to the bone. But yeah, and the scallops are phenomenal too. We didn't even try like the tomato or anything with it. We just ate it the way it was. Oh, we can see the fireworks happening. You see them right there? Right there. Now we just need the music. Ready to begin Let the wonders Take hold Let them draw you in There we go Alright, alright, alright Alright, hey, hey Is that Jordan Sparks? <laughs> yep, but oh, right there You can see him again Meal with some fireworks, I like it What are we getting for dessert? Steak Steak Look at the fireworks. That's the table you want to sit at right there. That's a good, and that's just fantastic, I feel like. I think it was fantastic. Right? It was the end of fantastic. We missed it. But I, I enjoyed our view. I did too. I enjoyed our view. Good old happily ever after. And with that, we are back home. Dinner was amazing. We had a great time and I enjoyed going to Pipeline. Pipeline was so much fun. Being the first to ride a roller coaster for the first time, such an honor. Thank you to SeaWorld for inviting us out. It was really a good time and I really loved that ride itself. And uh, I'll definitely be riding in the future. Overall, my experience at Toledo, that was fantastic. I wish my steak was cooked a little bit more it looked like they I, it was a big it was a thick steak that was a thick steak i wouldn't say it ranked high up on my list you know what i mean it's not up there with like flying fish and chulas and le cellier i would put it maybe in the top 10 maybe but not the top five not the top five but uh yeah anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye one more thing before I go, I wanted to show you guys some of the cool things I bought recently. You guys know I like to keep you updated on just the fun little knickknacks that I come across. And look at this one right here. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Oh, there, there we go. This is a 1971 Walt Disney World shot glass. Look at that selling shot glasses in the parks. I like this. I like that little emblem there, but I don't feel like it's made from 1971. Like, I don't think this was actually from 1971. I think it was later on, but I still like it a lot. I like that it says Walt Disney World. The only reason I say that is because the Mickey, I mean, he looks too new. He looks too new for 1971. But if 1971 wasn't a good time for you, how about we go to one of my greatest, my favorite movies of all time, because I got the Hercules plates. Look at these. Oh, I don't want to break them. Maybe, maybe I'll have to take these out. There we go. Much better. But yeah, I got the whole entire uh, set of plates from the movie Hercules. These were sold at McDonald's, believe it or not. And I got the whole collection. You got Pegasus, and it says, hold your horses, dinner's coming. And then he got Meg. Look at Meg right here. It says, what's a nice boy like you doing on a plate like this? And then we got Herc, the man himself. Look at that. I am a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Oh, that is a perfect 
plate right there. And then we got Zeus. Life is just a bowl of carrots. Oh, chariots. <laughs> but aren't these so cool? You can see on the back there it says McDonald's. Let me know if you guys uh, remember these plates. I just thought they were really cool. And I wanted to share it with you guys. Got the whole collection. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete?